Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Today, I'm going to show you the proper way to wire a switch. First thing first, let's turn off the breaker. Next, whoever roughed in the box should have identified the hot wire and the switch leg. If they didn't, no biggie. I'll show you tips on how to figure this out. If there are only two wires in the box, then it really doesn't matter if they marked it or not because it doesn't matter which way you install the two wires on the switch. You can put either on the top or bottom screw, but you want to tie your ground wires together and make a pigtail first. Then you want to tie your white wires together. After that, you put one of the black wires on the screw and the other black wire on the other screw. Now, if you have a bunch of wires in the box, someone may identify the hot wire by wrapping the wire around the other wire. That's a common identifier. If they didn't do that, you can always follow the wires to see if they are a pigtail for the live wires. Then you know whether that is the hot or switched wire. But really, for single pull switches, you don't need to know because you can hook them up to either screw. Okay, so now we're gonna hook the wires up to the switch. Take the ground wire and wrap it around the ground screw. You can take your pliers or dikes and bend the wire into a loop. Now, you always want to put the loop on the screw in the same direction the screw is going to screw in. If you don't, you're working against yourself and sometimes don't get a good connection. Now for the black wires, you want to do the same thing. On most switches, there are these little slots that you can stab the wire into the back of the device if you want. Don't ever do this. Over time, these wires loosen up and can cause all sorts of problems. Just wrap the wires around the screws for a better connection. When you're done, you just screw the switch on the box. These ears here are to help you make the switch flush. Both ears need to be flat against the box. I like to leave just enough play in the device where I can use a screwdriver and tap it to one side or another to make it straight. Then you put the cover plate on. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more DIY tips, tricks, and electrical fixes.